it is no longer a news that is an inflation all over the world. We know that kata kata everywhere. But guys, what I don't get is if kata is the cheap quarter of inflation, guys, you had me right. Because the way things are skyrocketing, ranging from house rent, grocery, everything has tripled in price and it's no longer funny i joined this country since 2018 this is my fifth year and now i think i'm not in a better position to tell you what to expect and what not okay so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys i'll be using my family as a scale of preference and family of four or example rather what you can expect as a single person or a family person okay so if this is the kind of content you love watching Grab your popcorn and I will see you right back. Through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. Hi, people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra. I'm a lifestyle mom vlogger and a healthcare worker that plays in Qatar with my family. If today is your very first time of coming across this channel, you are highly welcome. Please don't make it your last. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that anytime I drop a video, you will be first to notified. Okay. So, in this channel, I'll be doing a little of good content ranging from food lifestyle and i will also be sharing with you guys an immigration tip on how to get a job in and outside Qatar. so this is a new content that will also add it to this channel and trust me you benefit from one or two things from this channel so try to subscribe and uh, other good stuff okay so in today's video from the site you guys have already know what will be the shina today so i want to discuss about because someone reached out to me i don't know he's he's not yet in qatar but he's trying to um check if qatar is so costly or because every you know everywhere there is an inflation we know if there is an inflation everywhere but i think qatar we are experiencing a lot of that because everything has skyrocketed honestly so in today's video i'm going to divide this video in a two parts yeah or a three parts rather ranging from grocery food both african continental i am an african in nigeria also because i cannot do without my african food so i'll be including that then another part will be house strength accommodation what you expect, the kind of accommodation you can see here in Qatar, and other one would be just like you like just like a miscellaneous expenses. Okay, number one on our list will be grocery. See, there is no life without food. Food is life. Food, you see, food, food is life. So two years ago or three years ago, um, when I things are after the corona, be all before the corona rather, you can go to the shopping mall with 200 rear and trust me you can make a good buy but right now oh my god with 500 rear you cannot even get anything after shopping you will be like what did i what did i even buy what is this i'm gonna be car you know that kind of a thing you'll just be surprised what is this that is how bad it has gone that is how bad i'm trust me guys it's no longer funny so in terms of house rent as a family of four when me and my husband were when i was here because my husband was here we got married and i joined him so when four kids start, started coming me and my husband at least 100 rear 200 rear in a month yes yes not like managing we can like eat proper food enjoy ourselves but it's no longer that was 2018 yeah but no longer now. so when kids started coming you know buying diaper Pass, you know the kids they don't know if we if there is money or there is no money oh you must provide you know, like for example now my daughter she's almost five she's the one reminding me mommy we don't have bread mommy you don't have yogurt mommy you don't have yogurt you don't have this she's the one reminding me when you have kids you kind of expect depending on your family size you kind to expect more more budget yeah it's been like in the months close to one thousand real yeah 1000 Qataria just in a grocery because almost every week I step out to buy uh, yogurt, bread. So just then, after, after so maybe towards the ending of the month, we'll now go to make proper shopping. I think I will show some clips here. The other the last week, I make a, a proper shopping that on, on one supermarket, I spent 500 and something. The other one I went, I spent 300 and something. I had to buy rice. I buy chicken because we buy in bulk and that can make you save money, okay? That will make you not be spending too much. So 
that day I spent roughly 800 riyal. And the next day I went and we noticed that we don't have rice. I went and bought rice, bought chicken and all of that. Before you know it, 1,000 plus is out on the way, you guys. And the food is now going. No, yeah, this is the first, the first, the first week of the month, and the food is now going small, small, guys. Things are so pricey. So, if you are a family of three or four, the expenses depending on how you manage. But for me, I don't manage food. <laughs> I'm not in that table of air because, and you just have to manage. I'm the one suffering. I'm the one. You are the one suffering for this money. You are the one working hard for yourself african food is included because we eat a lot of african food here and that alone costs a lot of money and recently the way to bring things over here is kind of it's not it's not friendly as it was before so you everything would buy it here and it's very costly so when you compress everything together match everything together you see that you will be resulting to 1000 real not like just on grocery just what on african food and everything i'm just mapping it 1000 real every month this is what we spend on feeding alone so one part of this video will be on house rent oh my goodness guys house rent house rent see after this world cup everything changed because a good number of people expatriates came into Qatar. they want to settle in and all of that and that alone makes houses to increase yeah houses are so surprising so in here we are living in one bhk apartment and most of the houses in qatar they match both water electricity together and that alone that alone saves money so in this apartment we are it's just like it's not an apartment this is just like a, a a villa i will show you guys how a villa looks in qatar so we pay 3,000 both internet, water, and electricity. Everything is matched. That is one good thing about that. At least you can match everything. Most of your houses, unless you want to go to an apartment, those living in an apartment, I think they pay. Some houses, they'll say there is no internet. Some, that is what you have to pay for water. Some, uh, you have to pay for water and electricity. And trust me, in June, in June, we have a very harsh summer here the house the summer i'm talking about is not this one those in uk your summer is 20 degree 25 degree no even 25 degrees our is our winter so the kind of summer we have over here guys you need ac and if you are in an apartment where you where you pay for energy bills separately trust me you will be spending a whole lot of money every month you'll be consuming like 500 600 real every month but some apartment like like what i said for my own apartment we are paying everything together and uh, that alone is a huge relief like it's a relief so every month we bring out three thousand ria for housing both internet water and electricity and it's a good deal and also this place is just like in a sense this is doha and uh, guys i am so sorry i don't know that all this thing that i'm saying that my mic is off i don't know what is wrong with that mic i don't i, I think that if you can be able to hear me clearly now so what i'm trying to say is that a family of five, or rather can five thousand can be enough for you ranging from accommodations feeding and transportation see guys in transportation try to your housing where you live depending on how much you can spend in accommodation yes like where i live currently i drive here in qatar but i also make use of metro try when we are looking for your house try as much as possible to make sure that there is a metro link in your house that way you can save money yes that way i will show you what you can be able to know if you see a metro we have more buses a metro bus link means a bus that, that will transit you to the metro and it's free of charge you don't have to pay for that service okay the government provided it free of charge for immigrants okay so it's free you can actually use metro bus and two real if you go to the metro two real per journey two real coming back like where i'm working where I'm, my workplace if i'm to use uber 30 real going 30 real coming 60 real but if i should use metro i use spend only four real and i'm saving money right i'm not doing that to i'm not 
to write over to impress anybody i do that to save costs okay so what i'm saying is that if you're a single person there are so many accommodation in doha that you can actually share with people and it's very closer to metro maybe you can trek to metro or you can also use a metro link the bus that will transit you to metro and you go where you are going in that way you are saving money so your accommodation determine whether you'll be spending a lot of money in. as a single person you look for accommodation in that place you can see 300 rear 400 rear or 500 rear where you can share accommodation with people maybe 500 rear is okay because everything i think both water and electricity is, is always included in the accommodation and um, you just have to pay 500 every month in your feeding you just pay 400 400 can actually be enough for you every month then 100 rear for your to load your metro card that I, I don't think in a month you can be able to use 100 real making it 1000 so 1000 real can be able to fix you in in every month then if you are driving that one is another thing maybe if you are driving that means you have a job you have a good job that can be able can be to pay for that okay like now i am driving if i am to use my car to work every week 80 real but if i should use metro 20 rear you see and just metro is in my this is my house i use metro bus free of charge to the metro i spent to rear going and metro is actually in my workplace just go down go into the hospital that's it so at times if i want to do fast i'll use my car or if i have enough time i'll just use metro and save my petrol and save money understand so this is what the kind of thing we do in order to save costs in here in Qatar because things are expensive these are on the higher side okay so as a simple person just be looking at 1000 in a month while a family of five be looking at 5000 uh, 5000 rear be looking at 5000 rear every month okay depending depends varies where you are living some people family may just you and your husband you can manage one bedroom one room studio both kitchen and toilets, one five, one eight, depending on the location. In that way, you and your husband you can save costs. Then, if your husband have a good job or you as a wife you have a good job, you guys can expand. Yes, you can. You guys can expand, and that's it. But if you are a new immigrant, you and your husband, if you you have a kid, even though you have one kid, you can still be in one studio and manage. Then, if your hobby have a good job or you as a wife you have a good job, you guys can expand that is how family start growing but if you're a new you're just trying to settle in trying to save money you can start from small me i started from there every other person started from scratch it is not our country we are here to save money to take it back home we are here to end ends means okay you don't just don't just to come and start living extravagant life it depends on your choice everybody has their life but i'm just like giving you on how to cut cut costs in this country and trust me you will be glad you did okay so guys i know that i've been able to touch everything in a month family both feeding accommodation and transportation let's say five thousand naira if i am not exaggerating what a single person one thousand naira one thousand rear can do okay than this video i'm so sorry most of the things i said i don't know that my mark is not working I'm so sorry for that, but I think that the little ones I I ditch in now that you can be able to grab one or two. Okay, so in my next video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get a job in Qatar. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications so that anytime I post a video, you will be the first to see it. Guys, my eyes is closing already. The nature is calling. I need to go and sleep because tomorrow this is five o'clock. Oh my. God, I started recording this thing since three. This is five o'clock. The hustle is real, guys. I'm going to sleep now, and because I have duty in the afternoon, I'll be leaving by one. Yeah, one two. I have duty today, so let me just go and sleep. As you can see, my eyes collapse chain. I need to go and sleep. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. If you watch up until this time, yeah, take your flowers, take your flowers, take your flowers. You are the best. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video okay bye